I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. Frequently on our decorative applications, we'll engrave graphics into the concrete. The tools of choice in this case is either the Barracuda or the Shark, and this is an air-driven tool. Now the requirements for these tools, it does require an air compressor, and somewhere in the vicinity of about 10 to 12 CFM, uh, at a maximum pressure of 90 PSI, no more than 100 PSI, that's getting a little too high, is what's required. Another word of caution, if you're using an air compressor that's gasoline operated, certainly you have to really take some precautions when working indoors. Uh, keep it ventilated, keep fans going. You don't want carbon monoxide fumes uh, getting entering into the room or the workspace. So be very careful uh, with that. Now, the way that I use these tools is kind of free form art. A lot of times we'll uh, pour a countertop, I'll simply chalk out a vein, almost mimicking a river, if you can imagine that, and I'll simply kind of um, engrave free form into my, my concrete piece. However, if you're getting started in the business, um, this manufacturer actually produces some reusable templates, you can see here. It's a very uh, hard shore hardness polyurethane material, very rigid, and uh, pretty much will last a lifetime if you take care of it. A couple of observations when using these tools. It is a, a high performance air driven tool, so there's a lot of vibration when using these tools. You can see that these tools have a series of little needles, and this is what fractures the concrete away. So a common use for this would be to pre-stain areas, whether you're using a reactive acid stain, or in many cases, uh, you can use a water-based stain for bright, vibrant colors. That would dry, and uh, preferably you would even consider sealing it, and then you simply stand on top of the pre-made stencil, and you weight it down with your feet, and once the air is going, you keep the tool moving in a um, kind of a non-directional fashion. If you stay in one area too long, certainly you're going to engrave too deep and you're going to expose the coarse aggregates, so be careful. It does take a little practice. When working with these tools, don't overlook the importance of safety. You're working with an air-driven, high-performance tool that's fracturing the concrete. Inevitably, you'll have airborne dust particulate or chunks of uh, pieces of concrete that will go airborne. So at a bare minimum, proper eye protection, such as safety glasses, it will create some dust, wear the proper dust mask, and like I said, they are noisy at times, so go ahead and protect your ears. One last tip, it is a great idea to consider the use of leather gloves because when using these tools, there is a lot of vibration that occurs, and so that could uh, transmit into your hands. So I do like to use some gloves when working with these tools as well. Let's have some fun with these tools and let's show you how they work. Here's a great application for the Barracuda, the engraving tool. We're going to use a uh, reusable stencil and engrave some graphics. Remember, before you start, safety is no game. Uh, we will have airborne dust and little fractures of concrete chips flying out, so you want to uh, wear the appropriate respirator. Um, wear proper eye protection, safety glasses. It is a loud tool, so make sure you put your uh, ear protection. And again, there's a lot of vibration when using these engraving tools, so at a minimum, go ahead and uh, protect your hands using leather gloves as well. Not all the time do you have to use any of these engraving tools with a pre-cut stencil. In fact, I love using the tools in the untraditional sense and free-form art like our floors and countertops. Let me show you what I mean using the shark. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, Use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.